The Wyzetta boys cross country team were the best of the best in class 3A last fall, winning their second straight state championship. With six of their top seven runners returning from a year ago, the Trojans are eyeing a three-peat, but aren't resting on their laurels. I think we all know that we're not going to just get handed a state title or NXR title. I think we're all willing to work for it, and we're all ready to work for it. You know, when you win two straight state championships, you know, tend to get pretty confident in your team and yourself, but I think we need to stay focused and just believe in our training. The Trojans put in their base work during the off season leading up to the fall. Then during the regular season, Wyzetta runs roughly 45 miles a week, setting them up for success on meet day. We try to get out in that first you know, half of the race and just put ourselves in a good position without going deep. And if you can get to the midpoint of the race, feel good and be in a good position, then you're ready to you know, kind of roll up through that field. The boys weren't the only YZ cross country team that brought home a state title last fall, as the Trojan girls also took first in Class 3A. Unlike the boys, the YZ girls lost their top three runners from last year to graduation, including the top runner in the state, Abby Nekanicki. But the Trojans like the young talent coming up in the program. There's a lot of new runners that are coming in that are really excited, which I think is a good thing. They're competitive, they want to get better, and I think that's really important because those are the people that are going to come up in the program and be the next people on like varsity and stuff. I think it's gone really well so far. I think that we've had some good new runners showing a lot of leadership and just being ready for the season. I think a lot of it is just like building up base, making sure everyone's like aerobically fit, and then soon like picking up the intensity, kind of lowering the mileage. In addition to the new crop of runners, Wyzetta also has a new head coach in Kelsey Beach, who's excited about taking over the program after Addie Hallen took over the head girls cross country job at Orno. This is such a special program that is steeped in, I mean, decades of tradition. So I'm excited that I got to inherit a program that already has a lot of success and a lot of things that are it's built on. I also am excited to put my own flair on it and really be able to connect with every athlete on a different level. In Plymouth, Chaz Moots, CCX Sports. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.